Welcome back everyone, this is Arafelon playing Magical Bringer Karada the Movie. I've skipped a few recording sessions I normally do, so I'm a bit out of practice, plus Windows seemed to have played with my microphone settings in the meantime, so I had to tweak them back a little to get something reasonable, so we'll see how this goes. Anyway. Last time, Corona had just been called to Noel's chambers because they're going hiking, so here's that scene. Bidding farewell to Yuka-chan and the others, I head off to the throne room. This is my first time coming in the castle's core, and it's smaller than I expected. A solemnly adorned room with candelabra, and a small throne placed off by itself, apparently sized to fit Noel-chan's frame. I enter the room, and from the throne, the ward of the castle greets me, saying, I see hast come. Black leather clothing and deep red manteau and ribbon, the demon lord Noel in rather cute fuel regalia. That looks so good on you. You really look like a ruler like that. How rude. I am ever a ruler. That aside, as I said yesterday, I meant Kaiji to the southern chasm today. Right, we're going hiking! If one must put noun to it, but this is the demon realm, so it will be no carefree enjoyment of the scenery. Scarcely a step beyond the castle environs is a mountainous region crawling with monsters. Huh? How come we're going somewhere like that? If this were a horror film, that'd be like asking to die. Haha, <laughs> you and I are going. Be like no danger will be worthy of that name. I may be mouthing objections, but on the inside, anticipation for hiking is one overwhelming support is a sure choice for winter. White sandy beaches, dense forests, riverbanks where fairies fly, I want to see lots more of the beautiful scenery here in the Demon Realm. What I'm looking forward to the most, though, is walking through the mountains with Noachan. Her combat capability is reassuring, but I was genuinely glad to be able to have fun with her. Now, we decided two would go, but as this is a rare occasion, let us take another along. Yal and Krom shall mind the castle. Go choose any other than those two. I get to pick? Indeed, but mind that is only one. Come to the castle gate once has chosen whom to bring. I shall await thee there. Sure, I'll bring someone right away. Easy enough to say, but just one? Who should I pick? And we have another map base selection. I will save here for future usage. Anyways, I believe I mentioned before I'm trying to aim for Yuka with this playthrough towards the end of it, so the only choice that makes sense for that is Yuka, of course. But you can also pick Prime or Levia, or Subaru or Belleth, which ends up being the same thing. But for now. When I returned to the saloon, only Yuka-chan was still there with her notebook out. You're so diligent. Where's Subaru-chan? Oh, chan showed up and dragged her off somewhere. Ah, ha, ha. I guess she couldn't wait. But it helps that you're alone. I'm going hooking with Noel-chan. Wanna come? Me too? You came all this way to invite me? I guess I'll go with you then. Yay! I knew you were the one to pick! Oh, but she says it's dangerous outside the castle. Then I suppose I should take the mirror rail with me. The mirror seems used to the demon realm's atmosphere, so I think it will be okay to bring it out. Thanks for waiting! Thank you for the invitation. Let's enjoy ourselves. As predicted. Hmm? No, I meant not any deep meaning. I expected Kerno would be like Bring Thee if she were told to bring but one. You two are quite close. Eh heh heh, we're childhood friends. I've known Yuka-chan the longest, so she's the easiest one to invite. I'm glad, but a bit embarrassed. Childhood friends. Now, and I'll be here, let us go. It is yet before noon, but I would that we return by sunset. Okay, then we're off hiking!
Brian. I think that's pretty much how the tune went. Uh, I did look it up earlier to listen to, but it's been a little while. In any case, this is a reference to the song Asia no Junshin, or True Asia, the debut single of the Japanese pop rock duo Puffy. However, the proper line is Chiro no Pando Dore Demo Zembu Narabete, which is roughly Take the White Pandas, all of them in a line. Corona kind of fouls that up, gets the last part instead of Narabete, line them up, she says Naradzuke which is a kind of pickled food. So fearless. yuka turn. you want to sing too? That's okay. Anyhow, it's refreshingly cool. I feel the summer's heat, but it's not an unpleasant feeling at all. The demon rail hath entered autumn a slight bit before thine will. Ahead lieth the mountain trail. Ought to be cooler yet amongst the trees. There's some rather nice scenery. Just as Noel Chan said, the path grew gradually steeper and the surrounding terrain went from forest to mountain. Dense trees block off direct sunlight, a fresh breeze blows down the slope. It certainly is cool. It's cool, but since we're hiking up a mountain trail, I'm still hot. Several yards ahead of where we walk with sweat on our brows, only the one who said it would get cooler walks at the same brisk pace as before. Corona chan, here, have a towel. Thanks! Yuka chan took a face towel from the backpack she wore and gave it to me. Then she wipes off her own sweat with another towel. Oh, her pack probably has enough towels in it for three people. That's just how Yuka chan is. Sorry, I'll wash it and give it back. I said, but I always say that. I feel kind of bad about it, but I expect her to be generous with me. I'm sure this towel will go back to Yuka-chan without being washed. Yuka-chan likes taking care of people, and I'm always depending on her. Our relationship has continued like that for over ten years, ever since the day my younger self passed through the Shrine Gateway. Hey, Yuka-chan, you said back in elementary school you wanted to be a nurse, right? Why would you bring up something from all the way back then? Oh, and apparently they're called RNs lately. Okay, this I had to adapt a bit. Uh, the difference isn't really the same in English. I think RN at least sounds more professional, but what's going on in Japanese is that Corona starts with the term Kangohu, which is a strictly female term for a nurse, and Yuka uses Kangoshi, which is gender neutral and has kind of more of an expert uh, implication of expertise. This second term has been the one in official usage since about 2000 or so. Huh, really? Um, do you still want to be an RN? Hmm, sort of. But I think my first choice now is taking over the family business. Being a Miko's great too, isn't it? Cleaning the shrine, training the special arts, and all isn't easy. But as long as I can use different powers from a normal person, shouldn't I be able to help people in different ways from a normal person? You're amazing, Yuka-chan, thinking through your future prospects and everything. It's nothing to be praised about. Corona chan haven't you realized your own dream of becoming a magical girl? Yeah, that part's so far so good, but now I'm not sure anymore. What? I'm not sure what I should be doing. I just wanted to become a magical girl, and that's as far as I thought. I met Asiris, became a magical girl, finished the battle of Noenshan. It was fun at first, but before I knew it, it all started to seem hollow. The demon sword being summoned is a sign that something big will happen. I'll use the sword as the chosen one. That's what Asiris said. But until then, what should I do? I see. Well... How about this? Invited by the small demon lord you befriended, you spend summer vacation at a demon realm castle. You bring along the girl you've been friends with since childhood, and a younger girl who's a bit stubborn. Once in the demon realm, you go to the beach, then hiking the next day. That's... Yes, what we're doing now. Just go ahead and do what you think is fun, what you love to do. 
The teachers at school are always talking about your course in life, but I don't think it's something you need to make yourself rush so much to decide on. Dreams are worth nothing unless you move towards them for yourself. You should know as well as anyone now what I mean by that, right? Yeah. I've decided to be a Miko, but you have your own pace. So don't rush it. Take it easy and believe in yourself. I want you to walk the path you want. Yuka-chan! Yuka-chan! Hey, Corona-chan. I'm so glad I asked you. Yuka-chan, I love you! Hey, you're hugging me too hard. Yuka-chan, you're the best! Ahem, the both of you. We're not following along. What manner of dallying... Oh? Pardon me. Ah! Uh, hey! N no, chan Wait! It's not that. It's not what you're thinking. And so, a brief walk later brought us near a spring with a small waterfall. Let us have lunch here, the Wanchan said, putting down the basket she carried and taking a cloth out to spread across the ground. We had lunch on the mountain. The food Rhyme Sun sent with us was chicken sandwiches and onion soup. I had no idea. Onion soup is cool and delicious. Hmm, I could just keep having more. I like how the chicken's a little bit spicy, too. Rhymes cooking appealeth to thee? Yeah, a lot. It's fun eating at everyone all at the castle, but eating at the mountain with friends like this is even more. Friends. The two of you seem especially close. How long have you kept company? About ten years, I guess. We've been together ever since we were little. Hello, Chen. You've been with the people at the castle a long time, too, right? I suppose... Y'all, Kram and Rhyme have all served at the castle since ere I was born. And they've been with you a hundred years. They're all amazing. Amazing? Therians and vampires, all those who serve me have a weakness to fire. They merely pledge loyalty to avoid ill, fearing the flames of Belzebuth. That's not true. This morning when we went walking together, y'all said said you're the best master. Did she? And Yalsen and Kromsen, they never quit fighting over the demon sword even when they lost. They were eager to do anything they could for you, even covered in wounds. Cool delicious soup and chicken spice to go nan easy on a hot day. This lunch is made with care. I do a lot of cooking so I can tell how thoughtful Rhymesan was. Perhaps I alone did not notice... The one chance smile as she mumbled that seemed somehow slightly lonely. Come to think of it, she made the same face after our last battle when we were fighting over the demon sword. However much Nyo-san, Kram-san, or Rhyme-san loved Nyo chan what's there are master-servant relationships. They won't become anything more. They won't satisfy her loneliness. That's right. It's because I understand her loneliness that I... Nyo chan Hmm? There, gotcha! Come now, enough, cease this, cling not onto me, pat not my head. Yuka-chan, you get her too! What? Sorry. Th that was not. Actually, I've always thought you were awfully cute, Noel-chan. Ah, so cute. Not both of you at once. Enough. Cease this. Cling not to me. Rub not your cheeks against me. Pat me not. I said pat me not. And that angry face is cute too. Silky hair, soft cheeks. Noel chan love you. Oh, you buffoons. The little demon lord was mars between me and Yuka-chan. Her resigned face looked as though a little bit of the holiness had disappeared from it. Drop the formalities, Noel-chan. 
When you're with us, just forget all about your status and position. None of that bothers us. I decided back then that I'd be friends with you. By the time we finish lunch, the sun has started moving a bit to the west. As we continue our ascent from the spring towards the summit, the trees grow sparse and soon give way to rocky crags. The adventuring party continued somehow along the trailless trail despite staggering in the poor footing. Wait, what adventuring party? What's be the matter? Never mind, I'm talking to myself. Indeed. We shall reach the summit shortly. The rest is downhill once past there. Roger that! Huh? Did I hear something? I heard it too. Maybe a rock fell somewhere? Maybe, but I'm not sure it sounded quite like a rock. Right, it was more like that. That's not a rock. Huh? What? What? Oh, how unusual. It is rare to meet such a one here. What's going on? Hyperion. Hyperion? Quite some footfalls. And quite a large shadow. And it's coming closer. Calm thyself. Hmm, it would be boorish to interfere. Considering that a guest has come, I shall leave this to thee. No need to hold back, except it as my thanks for earlier. Hey, hello, Chen, where are you going? Hey, uh, um, anyhow, transform! Transformation complete. But now what should I do? Corona-chan, are you okay? Yuka-chan, you had your Miko close. Wait, where did you change? There's no time to explain. I'll put up a shield with the mirror's power so you take care of offense. R right Bim, Yo, To, Sha, Kai, Jin, Let's, Zai, Zen. Oh, mirror, Glens. Karina decide to back off, thinking that, you know, since she has a guest, she might as well let the guest take care of things. And she may be slightly annoyed at being mobbed earlier also. But yeah, we're fighting a dragon. Uh, fortunately for Corona, in this particular path, she has Yuka helping her. And Yuka gives a number of advantages, which we won't see just yet. Yuka is a defensive specialist, so we'll be seeing that come up in Corona's guard rounds. Well, the things are also shown on the side there now, but they don't do anything here. Yeah, this could be a relatively short episode, depending on how the battle goes, because there's not much left to act to after this. But we'll see. Okay, first of all, one thing that's going on there is that, as the series tells us, guarding once isn't enough. You have to block each of those attacks twice to avoid damage. Already knowing the gimmick going into the battle is definitely helpful. But it's probably not too hard to figure out if you're paying attention to what's going on. And of course he spells it out after you've already been attacked, but it's better than not telling you at all. Uh, the difficulty level is starting to increase after doing well in previous battles. You'll notice that the things are... Uh, they call them chips. The chips are moving faster in everything except the initiative rounds, which are always unchanged, regardless of difficulty. Corona's damage is scaled down, the dragon's damage is scaled up. Dragon is also getting more hits in its attack than it would if it the uh, starting difficulty. Anyway, as we were seeing, 
Yuka gives you two special abilities during your defensive rounds. One is the Defense X2, which is pretty straightforward. When that is in effect, all damage you take is halved, which effectively doubles the health you have and makes you much more able to survive battles. The other thing Yuka gives you is the Reflect ability. Now, if the enemy has the Fierce power, which this one does not, but some do, Fierce normally does, does some damage to you, even if you guard. Reflect will negate that entirely, so you don't have to worry about it. The other thing Reflect does, and you saw that happen on some of those guards, is if you had a perfect guard, some of the damage, depending on the opponent's attack power, will bounce back and hit them. So every time you get a perfect guard and it says Reflect, the dragon is taking some damage. It's Corona's usual special attack. Yuka's partner does not change her attacks in any way. So you still get there 12 hits instead of 8 with the normal power and guaranteed criticals. Which is a good opportunity to increase, uh, yeah, good opportunity to rack up damage. It also boosts her combo bar pretty well, or energy gauge. Moving towards the next special attack. Anyway, here we have Hyperion's special attack. The quote there is an African proverb, which seems to fit in with the idea that, you know, those who win write the histories and tend to prejudice the accounts in their favor. The dragon may be objecting to that. Anyway, this is a fairly straightforward special attack. It sends out two, or I think at higher levels, three clumps of attacks, which then burst and spread out into a more normal spread of things. The biggest complication that can have is that sometimes you'll get ships pretty much on top of each other. Which I think we saw one in that series of attacks, so not that big a deal, but if you have more of those, if they're not as straightforward, that can make it harder to plot. It's also somewhat less predictable than a standard set of attacks. On the other hand, it doesn't have the special ability that the dragon's normal attacks do, where each attack hits twice. Also, the thing with enter attacks in the dragon's round is that only one of the paired attacks normally will be an enter attack. You have no way of knowing what the other one is, which means it's basically impossible to block that. Fortunately, with Yuga as a helper, all damage is halved anyway, so not that big a deal. We have Corona, looking like she's a captain on the bridge of a warship. Starship. And I could just picture her captaining, like, the USS Osiris or something. Knock on target, fire all phasers. Anyway, Corona Blaster is 16 hits, and like any other special attack, all of them are automatically critical unless you miss out, right? So that's twice as much as the maximum possible damage of her normal attack. It does not charge your energy gauge, but the extra damage is usually a small price to pay for that. There are also situations where long-range attacks like that come in handy. Uh, for instance, if you have an attack down effect, which I don't think is actually in this game, that's not affected by it. Conversely, it's not affected by attack up either. Ah, got a little flustered there. And not paying enough attention. Anyway. Uh, range attacks also have some other benefits, like they'll negate uh, Nial's hiding ability, which we didn't actually see. Also, if you miss a ranged attack, it doesn't count against your combo. Let's use a quick burst to finish this off. Hey, if you have at least one level of energy charge, you can press enter during the initiative round to immediately jump to your offensive round. At the cost of one level of energy plus anything you have to charge towards the next one. If you are at least at level 2, that will put you down to at least level 1. 
and you will immediately get the special attack that you normally get upon reaching that level. So, anytime you get a Corona Blaster, you can, if you want to, use Quick Burst, immediately get a Corona Breast Rotter after that, and continue as if you had just gotten to that in the first place. In any case, we beat the dragon. It's pretty tough, but it could have been a lot worse. And that is a nice dramatic finish there. We... we won! Wow! We won! We won against something like that! A triumph of teamwork. Aye, splendid. Jeez! No, Chan, just watching? That's not very nice! Certainly, we would have dealt with it in but a moment had I joined in. Yet, that would scarce be interesting. It was entertaining, was it not? Yeah, it's not every day I get to fight a huge dragon, so thanks. But help out if we're attacked again. I won't be able to hold out against so much intensity. And whatever else may happen on the hike, we're not shown. We come back to the castle. It's getting to be not quite late at night, but it's nighttime. Presumably we also had dinner cut out between here. Today was a long day. It started with fighting Yosan in the morning, then a steep mountain climb during the day, then a fierce battle with a dragon at the summit, as if that weren't enough already. Once I'd washed the sweat off in the bath and stuffed my belly full of dinner, sleeping was everything to me. Ah, my energy's hit its limits. Steps to bed. Three, two, one... Good night. And that is the end of Act 2. This has been Era Felon playing Magical Bringer of the Corona the movie, and we just beat a dragon. What adventures wait in store for us next? Come back next time to find out.